Mina Tekman's research focuses on the question, where does the plastic waste in the oceans come from? She's helping to program the litter-based data bank to present this information in a form that's easy to understand. Our basic idea is to make scientific data visible and understandable for everybody. And the best way for that is to create some maps and some graphs. Litterbase is an online database that's open to everyone. Graphics show the results of more than a thousand scientific studies. On a world map, it's easy to see where research expeditions have already taken place. The latest results from the worldwide scientific community are regularly fed into the database. The aim is to make the global issue of marine pollution more accessible and easily understood, including to non-scientists. Nowadays, nobody reads anything anymore, especially because of social media, and people like to have pictures. Having these maps and these analysis graphs are really providing useful information in really short time to the public. The Global Forest Change Database at the University of Maryland also uses a map to show the state of the world's forests. Since 2013, users have been able to call up info based on satellite images. They can see the effects of forest fires, illegal logging, and reforestation over long periods. The Global Forest Watch platform is also dedicated to protecting forests and their inhabitants. It combines satellite technology with open data and crowdsourcing. Temperature, CO2 levels, and even current weather phenomena can be found on the website EarthNow. Here, U.S. Space Agency NASA presents comprehensive satellite data in real time. You can track how tropical storms or forest fires, like here in Australia, are developing on EarthNow. Various natural disasters are also explained. The Alfred Wegener Institute also plans to incorporate non-scientifically compiled data. Melanie Bergmann wants holidaymakers to upload observations about beaches and coastlines. The topic of marine litter in particular lends itself well to citizen scientists, because trash is something everyone can relate to. Everyone knows what a bottle or a plastic bag is, and this helps us to cover a much better area geographically, and to better fill in the white spots we still have on our map.